2018, the ads get, uh, can I use the word acquired yeah, uh, by Alibaba? And uh, again, I'm sure your friend played a big role in it, who is the head of Alibaba at that time, John Ev- uh, Evans, if I believe. Michael Evans. Michael yeah, Evans, yeah, yeah, exactly. if I believe, right? Yeah. At that time, how did that come to play? How did uh, uh, a company which started from Pakistan mm. ended up with Alibaba, ended up with a company that Jack Ma owns? Yeah, so. Um, of course, at that time, I was always, always looking for investors. Right? Mm-hmm. That's the nature of the game when you're, <laughs> when, you're when you're starting an, an e-commerce business. Uh, that in the end, it's an expensive business model, and yeah. it, it it costs money to to get to the scale where you can actually start making money. Yeah. Um, so I closed the first funding round was in September 2015. That was uh, CDC, the Commonwealth the Development Capital Fund from from uh, from the UK. And then um, Aridu, the Qatari telco that had some tech investment uh, funds that they they wanted to deploy. Uh, so that was the first round. Um, but then after that, I had to think about what comes next. Who's gonna you know who's gonna be in the next round? Yeah. Um, and I reached out to to Mike Evans. Um, I didn't actually know I know of him because he, in Goldman Sachs he was yeah. a big name. Like he was the guy who built their Asian business, which is a big part of the business. Um, and he had joined Alibaba. So through some connections, I, I, I you know, I reached out to him, and um, and he happened to have a trip to Islamabad, to uh, to meet with the prime minister because at that time also the you know the One Belt One Road uh, initiative was being structured and negotiated at a government level. Yeah. So there was a lot of China Pakistan. Uh, kind of se- senior discussions happening, and yeah. he was in Islamabad. And he said, "Why don't you fly up and we'll have a chat." Um, so I met him in Islamabad in a you know in H- Hotel Serena in the lobby, and we had a, just a very good, nice, heart to heart chat about Goldman Sachs and moving from banking to doing something completely different. Yeah. And now we're sitting here in Islamabad having a <laughs> chat. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> um, so we had a very good per- uh, connection, and he's a, he's a very good friend of mine now. Um, and I, I thought at that time that maybe if I'm lucky. Um, you know, at least I'll put myself on the map and they know that there's a business here, a little yeah. startup called Taras, and maybe at some point, you know, we can do something. Uh, best case scenario, I thought maybe they can be a smaller investor in the next round yeah. just to get a foot in the door and then we can start building a relationship and then who knows what happens later. Yeah. Um, and my pitch from the start was really that I think in our markets, we have a huge opportunity to really add to Alibaba's global vision of 2 billion active customers on their platforms. That was, you know, Alibaba has three strategies. One is globalization, getting to 2 billion global consumers. They can't find 2 billion people in China, so yeah. they have to go somewhere. <laughs> we have a lot of people. <laughs> uh, the, sec- or the first actually is uh, growing the core commerce in, in, in China, mm-hmm. um, and then they have cloud, right? So globalization was really where we could fit in. And I said, I can, over the next, call it eight to 10 years, I can give you 5%. I can give you 100 million active customers. Um, so we started the conversation, and then I, I went to, uh, to meet uh, Daniel, who had taken over recently as the CEO from Jack Ma. Yeah. Um, we had a very good meeting, like a really friendly, uh, constructive discussion. Um, he was very interested and, and took a lot of time to understand the business. And then to my surprise, they came back and actually said, you know what? We we like the markets. Yeah. Uh, actually, three out of our five markets yeah. border China, so that's also a nice synergy. Yeah. By that time, uh, had uh, Daraj had moved into uh, two different countries. Uh, by that time? We had at that time we had uh, we had actually bought a business in um, that in 2016 that put us into Sri Lanka and Nepal. So yeah. we had Pakistan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, and then Sri Lanka and Nepal. So had already five, already happened by that time. Already happened, yeah. By so 2018. We had the, yeah, yeah, exactly. So we had, had the whole portfolio. We had the whole portfolio. We had four, four, 450, 500 million people in our countries. Um, so they liked the market. They liked the team. Uh, they liked our kind of entrepreneurial spirit. Um, they had recently also bought a business in Southeast Asia called La Sala, and had spent about two years rebuilding all of the tech for that business. So mm. they, they saw a lot of synergies to take some of the stuff that they had built for Southeast Asia and put it into the RASP. And I love that, right? I said, okay, I can get so much value out of, out of that tech. So yeah. there, was a lot of, there was a lot of synergies and the stars were kind of aligned. And then they came back and said, we, we, you know, we, we want to do this, but we've made the, some investments in the past as a minority or even a majority investor, but having other investors in the, 
you know, in the shareholder structure as well. But for this, we actually really want to build the business right from the start. So we want to buy the whole thing. Hmm. Um, and that was a big surprise, also to both to me, but also to our investors, because they were not looking to sell. Things were going quite well, and it was really taking off. So, uh, But Alibaba was quite adamant, and they, you know, they, they paid, a, I think, a, a reasonable price or a control premium at the, at the time to take the whole company. So in the end, they, we only got to do our Series A, and then... Suddenly, Alibaba came in and bought the whole thing bought in 2018. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not bad at all. No, <laughs> no, it's been a, it's been quite a journey. So it's uh, been fun. Yeah, from getting on that seat on the economy yeah. class uh, between yeah. two people, and now <laughs> yeah. right here. Yeah. If you love what we are doing, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. This program is brought to you by Via Studios. Thank you very much for watching us on YouTube. Make sure that you also listen to us on Spotify.